Make sure to bookmark the Transfer Talk portion of our website where you get all the news and notes during the upcoming summer transfer window. For more Transfer Talk, we welcome back Stuart Robson and Gab Marcotti. Gab, I'll, I'll start with you. Michael Zork has had some pretty strong words as far as Jaden Sancho staying at Borussia Dortmund. What does your gut tell you? Will Jaden Sancho stay in Germany? <sighs> I, I'm, I'm really, really torn on this one. I'm, I, but I, I think, and you know, we had Jan Aga Fjortov talking about this as well. I think Michael Zork is pretty determined. And I think when you go out that hard, you know, you don't do it to negotiate um, for a few extra million. Um, so the, the, the suggestion that's been talked about in Germany is that they're basically going to give him um, a pay bump um, without extending his contract, just kind of to, to ensure that he tells United, okay, um, I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not coming this year. I'm not going to push for a move. And then we can revisit the situation, uh, the situation next year. At least the understanding is that is what Borussia Dortmund hoped to do. And uh, I think that would explain why Zork was so, was so emphatic in shutting the door here. Sancho, obviously, Manchester United's plan A, Robbo. But they have to have a plan B. One of the names that's been linked, Douglas Costa. You think he'd be a good fit at Old Trafford? Uh, if you're looking for a right-sided player that can come in on his left foot and get crosses in and get shots away and, and link up with a front play, he's an excellent player. He hasn't really done anywhere near as well at Juventus as people thought he would. He's had his injury problems, he had his disciplinary problems, got sent off earlier on in the season. But on his day, he's still an excellent player. And I don't think he's been given the opportunities that he would have hoped for. When he was at Bayern Munich, he was a magnificent player. And I think if he went to Manchester United, he could rediscover that form. So I think he'd be a good alternative. Gab, yeah, another plan B that's been floated out there, Usmane Dembele hasn't played a competitive match since November. That would seem to be a huge risk for United. I mean, look, these Douglas Costa, Usman Dembele, both of these smack of clubs saying, ooh, I'd love to get rid of this guy, get some cash in, you know, get their big wages off the books in Douglas Costa's case. Uh, who do we know has money? Oh, look, Manchester United. And I think it's intermediaries trying to create deals. I mean, the reality with, with Douglas Costa is if, if they wanted him, they, they could have signed him a couple of years ago. Um, I, I'm not sure he's necessarily somebody who's going to grow with that front three, given his age profile. Um, as far as Dembele is concerned, you don't know what you're getting because you don't know if the guy, if the guy is fit. I mean, I think best possible scenario for, for Barcelona, uh, if they bring somebody in, Dembele gets loaned somewhere. But um, I, I think it's going to be very, very hard to shift him. Remember, he cost an absolute mint, so his res the residual value on the books for Barcelona is still going to be very, very high. So uh, unless it's a, it's a crazy sum, they're going to lose money. And, and one thing Barcelona need to do is balance the books right now. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.